Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Today is Thursday, May 20th, 2021, and I now call this Fairfield City School District Board of Education meeting to order. Mrs. Lane, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Begley. Here. Mr. Birdie. Present. Mr. Clark. Present. Mrs. Gundrum. Here. Mrs. Shorter. Here. Uh, Mr. Begley, will you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Begley. Before we get started, um, last week, Fairfield City Schools tragically lost three of our family members, Marita Avery, Elias Purdue, and Reagan Manoss. Board members and staff are donning purple, Reagan's favorite color, this evening to honor her and our other lost family members and to show support to their family. Would you please join us in a moment of silence to honor their lives and take a moment of quiet prayer for their families. Thank you very much. First item on our agenda this evening is presentations and resolutions, and I'll turn it over to Mr. Smith. Thank you, Mr. Birdie. Members of the board, we do have one very special presentation scheduled this evening, and that is the awarding of our golden apples. As you know, these awards are only given out to a select few individuals across the district each year. Uh, this presentation provides us with an opportunity to celebrate these outstanding employees. And we are very excited to recognize them this evening for what they do day in and day out for our students, our schools, and our community. If there was ever a year to celebrate all of our employees for what they have done for our kids, this is definitely the year. So at this time, I will turn it over to Mrs. Gentry Fletcher, Mr. Martin, and Mrs. Neal. Thank you. Our first winners are from North Elementary, here to present our principal Denise Hayes and assistant principal Kathy Landy. Please welcome our first winner, Courtney Baker. This has been the year of celebrations and accolades for Courtney Baker. In addition to receiving this Golden Apple Award, she was also nominated as one of the Warm 98 Teachers of the Week by one of her families, and she could not be more deserving. Courtney volunteered to be one of our virtual teachers this year and handled it wonderfully. Like many others, at the start of the year, she was filled with questions and reservations, but she persevered to make sure that all of her students, in her words, had the same amazing school experience at home that they deserve to have as they would have at school. And that's exactly what she did. She created extra lessons, assisted other teachers with technology, and went the extra mile to build relationships with students and their families. And for that, we could not be more grateful. Words alone can't express how blessed we feel to have Courtney on our team. And we are thrilled to present her with this year's Golden Apple Award. Congratulations, Courtney. Our next winner from North is Loretta Riddle. <laughs> and 
Every building deserves to have a person like Loretta Riddle on staff. She's an exemplary educational assistant who goes above and beyond expectations because she wants to, not because she has to. And not just some of the time, but all of the time. It's not uncommon for her to work through lunchtime, take care of students who are not assigned to her, or even look for odd jobs that need to be done which are completely outside of her job responsibility. I truly believe that she considers her position to be more of an act of service than a job. By the noticeable way that she pours her heart and soul into everything that she does, we are so grateful that she chooses to de dedicate so much of herself to our children, staff, and our school as a whole. Congratulations on this well-deserved Golden Apple Award. Congratulations, Loretta. Our next presenters are from South Elementary, Principal Jason Hustle and Assistant Principal Scott Keener. Our first winner from South is Melanie Thayer. Melanie is a fourth grade math and science teacher at South. This school year, Melanie was asked to take on the virtual teaching role. Melanie took the position without hesitation. She has been an integral part of the South virtual team this school year. In person, Melanie leads the fourth grade team and will do whatever it takes to ensure all fourth grade needs are met. Melanie works hard to build a strong rapport with her students while holding high expectations at the same time. Melanie is all about the rigor during a lesson. She is passionate about teaching her students and expects the best for them. Melanie is a role model not only for her fourth grade team, but for all colleagues. We are fortunate to have Melanie Thayer on staff at South Elementary. Congratulations, Melanie. Our next winner from South is Debbie Benson. <laughs> Debbie arrived to South as an educational assistant four years ago from Fairfield High School. Upon her arrival, we quickly realized how passionate she is for extracting the maximum potential out of the students she serves. Debbie understands the importance of cultivating meaningful <coughs> relationships with her students and the students always develop a close bond with Debbie. <coughs> Mr. Hustle and Mr. Keener will never forget the summer when Mrs. Benson was volunteering her time in the office and got stuck in the elevator during one of South's power outages. <coughs> Fortunately, Mrs. Benson was rescued using the jaws of life by a handsome firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, thank you for all your hard work and the memories we have shared with you in your time at South. We hope you have a happy retirement and you will be missed. Congratulations, Debbie. Thank you. Our next presenters are from East Elementary. Principal Dr. Paige Gillespie, and Assistant Principal Jonathan McEldowney. The first winner from East is Julie Laker. Julie is a cross-categorical educational assistant at Fairfield East. Her hard work and dedication is admired by all. She gives of herself daily. Julie typically works with students in the ID room, 
so you frequently see her with a small group or individual students in the quad or moving around the building. This year has been COVID different. Since most of her students are doing VL, she has jumped in everywhere. She eats lunch with students that need a helping hand. She's watching over at breakfast to make sure that everyone is served. She's been such a big help in the social communication unit, the MD unit, preschool, inclusion, instruction, you name it, and she's there. She is such a hard worker, and she's amazing with her students. Julie's caring and compassionate attitude makes her this year's Golden Apple recipient from Fairfield East. Sincere thanks to Julie for all she does. She's a special person. Congratulations, Julie. winner from East is Sarah Ford. Sarah Ford is one of our preschool teachers at Fairfield East and is this year's Golden Apple recipient. Sarah has a true passion for, her, for each of her students. Her positive attitude, her commitment to working with colleagues, and the work she does with families is contagious and inspirational. Sarah goes above and beyond when working with students in the classroom. She works with her team to plan engaging activities each day. This year, her students went on a bear hunt through the quad area, and they also went on an egg hunt inside the classroom. The students love participating in these special activities, and you can truly see the enjoyment through their smiles. She makes every effort to turn every experience into a learning opportunity. During snack time, you can often catch Sarah working with students to sort their snack or encouraging them to try opening their milk or juice independently before asking for help. Sarah is, a truly, is truly an asset to Fairfield East and the preschool department across the district. No one is more deserving of this year's Golden <coughs> Apple than Sarah. Congratulations. <laughs> Next presenters are from West Elementary, Principal Missy Muller and Assistant Principal Brittany Tudor. Our first winner from West is Becky Jones. <laughs> Becky started as a West substitute teacher and was on the West PTC board when her children were young. She was hired as an EL tutor and then keyboarding teacher at the intermediate school. <clears throat> where she started the EL After School Club and EL Summer Camp. Becky then circled back to West for the past four years as a fourth grade teacher. Becky's team members call her the onion because she has many layers. Every year she continues to add layers and is always successful because she is devoted and works hard to succeed no matter what. This year she has stepped in and helped with our in-school students and staff even though she was the virtual teacher. Becky volunteered to be the fourth grade virtual teacher and has been an outstanding leader, innovator, and teacher for the virtual learning staff, parents, and students. We could not have done it this year without her and her positive attitude. She is a wonderful coworker who genuinely cares about everyone at West. The kindness, compassion, patience, and understanding she shows towards her students, families, and colleagues is like no other. Becky Jones is a true asset to our Fairfield West family, and we are blessed to know and love her. Congratulations, Becky. Well, Becky. Our next winner from West is Lauren Woods. <laughs> Lauren.
Lauren Woods is a special education assistant at West Elementary. She is a person every parent and teacher wants working with their own children. Lauren always has a smile, positive attitude, high expectations, and compassion for all students, regardless of their ability or history. This year, she had a fifth grade student who had only attended three months of school ever. Lauren has given him patience, love, individual attention, grace, time to think, time to grow and learn. This student is thriving and is very proud of his accomplishments to learn to read and do basic math. Lauren is a leader and role model for the students and staff at West. She not only helps her students grow academically, but also socially. Lauren spends time talking and meeting with students to help them build their social skills and their relationships with each other. She is a leader on our West Diversity Advisory Team and leads a small group in our diversity trainings. Lauren never runs out of things to do. She goes above and beyond and is always searching for ways to support and help others. Lauren will be in her last semester of school this fall to get her intervention specialist degree. She will be such an amazing intervention specialist because she genuinely cares about the students and their growth. Lauren Woods is a true asset to our Fairfield West family and we are blessed to know and love her. Our next presenters are from Central Elementary, Principal Kim, or I'm sorry, Carrie Gatlow, and Assistant Principal Jay Bauer. And our first winner from Central is Bob Phillips. <laughs> Bob, you are the quiet hero of the school, and this year your cape got used more than ever. Throughout the summer months, you stepped in, you stepped to the front line without hesitation to plan for a safe return to school. You spent countless hours organizing classrooms and creating safe traffic patterns in the hall. You were charged with protecting over 800 students and staff members from this frightening virus, and you did just that with no complaint. Not only were you called to work day in and day out, but you were also frequently asked to put on PPE to enter classrooms where known cases of COVID-19 had been present. You put your life on the line to keep Central sanitized and open for our students. School is where our students needed to be, and thanks to you and your team, that's where they were. Thank you for being a true Central hero. Congratulations, Bob. and it's a week before the second quarter, but can you come back and teach face-to-face? -face? Oh, yeah, and can you move to a new room and teach a new grade level? Yep, that is exactly what happened this school year to Don Springer. While many would have said no to so many changes, Mrs. Springer embraced them. She created a bond with her virtual students, built strong relationships with her face-to-face -face students, and fit in perfectly with her new team of teachers. This year has been challenging to say the least, but you have handled each curveball with grace and compassion. We are so lucky to have you as a member of the Central family. Congratulations, Dawn.
Our next presenters are from Compass Elementary, Principal Kim Hauer and Assistant Principal Aisha Lambert. Our first winner from Compass is Kathy Henson. <laughs> Kathy has really been able to shine as a virtual teacher this year and we are so grateful for her. She has not let teaching in the virtual world stop her from building strong relationships with our students and our families. One very appreciative parent reached out to share, Mrs. Henson has gone above and beyond this year for her students. Our daughter looks forward to seeing Mrs. Henson via Zoom every day, and she is very responsive to our questions and any additional help that she needs. She personally met each student at Picture Day and gave them subject materials to use for hands-on learning. She also purchased additional materials and delivered them to our home this spring for more hands-on learning and so she could visit with her daughter face-to-face. -face. Mrs. Henson even attended our daughter's first soccer game this spring and has planned an in-person learning experience for her virtual students and their families at a park this spring. Thank you so very much, Mrs. Hen Mrs. Henson. The Compass family very much appreciates you. Congratulations, Kathy. Our next winner from Compass is Cheryl Gordon. been an, an absolute lifesaver at Compass this year. We sometimes joke and say EA stands for everything and anything, but Cheryl really has been willing to jump in and help out wherever is needed. From greeting students with a smile first thing in the morning, to helping with breakfast duty, to helping students learn how to read, to helping students resolve conflicts, to, to helping cover technology class, to covering library class, to covering lunch duty, to covering the office, to helping at dismissal, to helping with summer tutoring, you name it, Mrs. Borden sees something that needs done, and with a smile on her face, she dives in to help. Countless times throughout this crazy year, I've said, can Cheryl help with that? And the answer is always yes without complaint. Ms. Borden, the Compass family is very fortunate to have you serving our students, and we are beyond grateful for you. Congratulations, Cheryl. Our next presenters are from Transportation, Director Bill Westerbeck and Assistant Director Jeanette Flick. Our first winner from Transportation is Virginia Harrison. Virginia has been driving a school bus for the Fairfield City School District just over 20 years. We are delighted to honor her dedicated service and commitment to our district. Virginia is always willing to assist wherever needed, filling open routes, starting buses on cold mornings, disinfecting buses after school, or taking emergency field trips. Virginia's flexibility and willingness to alter assignments to help get students to and from school directly contributed to our success getting through the additional driver shortages created by COVID and quarantines. She is meticulous in enforcing all safety procedures to protect her students and will go beyond expectations to help a child in need. Her thoughtfulness carries over to her coworkers whom Virginia will often surprise with an unexpected gift for their children or grandchildren. We are fortunate to have Virginia as an employee. Congratulations, Virginia. Our 
Our next winner from transportation is Lisa Hassler. Lisa, a 25-year employee of the district, has spent her last four years as an educational assistant keeping students safe and making sure their individual needs are met while riding the school bus. Her outgoing personality creates positive relationships, not only with her students, but also with their entire families. Parents frequently praise Lisa for her thoughtfulness and acts of kindness. Lisa has an infectious laugh a great sense of humor, and is a skilled practical joker. <laughs> she brings joy and laughter to the transportation department. For these reasons and more, Lisa is highly deserving of this rotten apple. <laughs> I'm just reading what it says. I mean, <laughs> golden apple award. Congratulations to you, Lisa. Our next presenter is from the Fairfield Academy, Director Kyle Jamison. And the winner from the Academy is Chrissy Zaboral. <laughs> Fairfield Academy Dean of Students, Chrissy Zaboral embodies the Academy's spirit of community through her daily commitment to serving everyone else before herself. During a challenging and demanding year, Chrissy has gone well beyond the regular call of duty. She has not only been a trusted source of dependability to our students, she has taken the time to ensure that teachers feel supported. Chrissy's passion for her job and the students she guides is evident in the effort and dedication she puts in every day. One teacher says, I value her advice and her expertise when working with high need students. She goes above and beyond to check in regularly and is always available when I need her. Another shares, no matter what is going on in her day, the kids come first. She will never tell you she's too busy or doesn't have time for you, no matter what she is dealing with. Even though this is a small building, it is a huge job. Chrissy makes it visibly clear that she loves the staff and students she's work, she works with and goes above and beyond to make sure their needs are met. In any given day, Chrissy could be seen supporting a teacher, helping with lunch, pulling weeds, or comforting an anxious student. One student says, Miss Aboral is the person I run to when I'm down. She can flip something negative into something good. She is an all around great person and I love her. Another student says, I appreciate everything about Miss Aboral. She has helped me conquer the last three years of high school. She always puts students first. Chrissy is a huge part of why the Academy works so well for so many of our students, as well as why our staff feels like a family. Congratulations, Miss Aboral, on this well-deserved recognition. Congratulations, Chrissy. Our next presenters are from Creekside Middle School, Principal Carrie Francini and Assistant Principals Cassandra Delaney and Elise Parker. Our first winner from Creekside is Officer Kevin Mack. <laughs> officer he goes above and beyond for our students staff and community he is a wonderful resource in de-escalating difficult situations officer Mack is always thorough in his investigations and supportive in his responses one student described officer Mack as his favorite person in the school which from a middle schooler is high praise <laughs> one student said 
Oh yeah, he helps me out when I'm having a day, talks to me or calms me down, whatever I need. We are lucky to have Officer Mack as part of our team at Creekside. Congratulations, Officer Mack. fellow there no, no <laughs> doubt about that the next winner from Creekside is Adam Crosby <laughs> mr. Adam Crosby is an eighth grade science and physical science teacher at Creekside and crossroads on virtual that's right this year, Mr. Crosby taught students from two middle schools online for two different subjects. He did such an amazing job with a very difficult assignment this year. One of our virtual students' parents stated, Mr. Crosby will reply almost instantly to messages on Saturday evenings, after surgery. <laughs> he allows his students to do assignments over and over again until they're successful. He simply understands that the goal here is learning. He goes way beyond expectations. I wouldn't expect any teacher to be nearly this dedicated. He also works diligently with our yearbook students, creating a beautiful product each and every year. Creekside is lucky to have Adam Crosby as this year's Golden Apple winner. Congratulations to you, Adam. Our next presenters are from Crossroads Middle School, Principal Dave Main and Assistant Principals Shannon Cuff and Heather Tash. And our first winner from Crossroads is Melissa Knoll. An education assistant at Crossroads Middle School. She supports a variety of students in several different eighth grade classrooms. Students and teachers recognize and appreciate her attention to detail and commitment to helping. She is always willing to take the extra step in an effort to support our students. The administration appreciates Ms. Knoll's dedication to the district, building, and especially the individual students. This past summer, Ms. Knoll spent many Mondays assisting the food services program by passing out meals to families in the community. Without a doubt, those who have met or know Melissa Knoll quickly understand that she is here to serve. Fairfield City School District is very fortunate to work with Melissa Knoll. Congratulations, Melissa. Our next winner from Crossroads is Jenny Brown. <laughs> Jenny Brown is an eighth grade math teacher at Crossroads Middle School. Over the past four years, she has been actively involved in running student council and teaching math to our many types of learners. She collaborates with community organizations to plan and implement charity activities with students. Brown also volunteers on the school's PBIS committee, where she plays an active role in helping to improve the PBIS program. On several occasions, Ms. Brown has gone above and beyond to collaborate with our math department to ensure that the eighth grade would continue to excel academically. Students describe Ms. Brown as the glue that keeps the team together. She communicates building events, team plans, and she serves as the keeper of hand sanitizer, 
<laughs> so students can fight off potential germs. Crossroads Middle School is lucky to have a teacher who is as dedicated and hardworking as Jenny Brown. Congratulations, Jenny. Our next presenters are from Special Services, Supervisors Teresa Sunderman and Jennifer Skirvin. The first winner for Special Services is Robin Troy. Robin is a school psychologist working at Creekside Middle School. She is extremely dedicated to helping our students and making sure that the evaluations she completes are done to encompass all the parents and the team's concerns. When asked to go above and beyond, Robin will gladly help without any complaint. She has had several difficult cases this year and she takes it all in stride. She can always be counted on to help even when it's not involving a student that's assigned to her caseload. She is an asset to our district, and we are thankful that she has chosen to call Fairfield home. Congratulations to you, Robin. And the next winner from Special Services is mm -hmm. Candy Yates. Candy is an occupational therapist working at North Elementary and Preschool at West. Candy often will go above and beyond her caseload to help a student in need. When a student requires sensory supports in the classroom, Candy will work with staff and students to help implement strategies. This has led to better success within the school setting. When asked questions about students and specific concerns, Candy will provide additional resources for staff and parents. She collaborates with the IEP team and conducts very thorough evaluations of students. She has provided a lot of insight into behaviors and sensory needs within the school setting. Candy is a huge asset to our school community, and we are truly thankful for her dedication to all our students. Congratulations, Candy. Our next presenters are from the Fairfield Freshman School, Principal Michael Berkemeyer and Assistant Principal Emily Newton. The first, oh, go ahead, yes, do you want? <laughs> <laughs> The first winner from the Freshman School is Jessica Neal. Jessica has been an outstanding school counselor for the freshman school for the last five years. Jessica has a caring heart and sacrifices daily for our students. It does not matter what she is doing. If a student needs her help, she is there for that student. As a staff member, she is hardworking, dependable, creative, and a go-to person in our office. While her main focus is servicing our students, you can't walk by her office without seeing at least one staff member in there daily asking for help or coming to her with a need. Jessica is easy to find because if she isn't in her office, that means she is out in the hallway during every class change or she is on the bus lot for every dismissal. Although her official title is school counselor, she serves as a building leader, helping establish our school's vision and reputation. Thank you, Jessica, for always putting students first, for being a model employee, and for truly caring about everyone you work with. You make working at the freshman school an enjoyable experience. Congratulations, Jessica. Our 
Our next winner from the freshman school is Barb Denninger. Barb has been a district employee since 2001, where she started at the Fairfield Middle School. In 2011, she joined the freshman school staff as our building's attendance czar, <laughs> along with many other responsibilities. With the law changes to attendance and attendance intervention plans, Barb's job has gotten a lot more difficult and much more involved. On top of that, Barb is always willing to cover for anyone in the front office when they're out. She does a great job making sure everything is taken care of and that no balls are dropped. A terrific example of this is back in 2016, our internet connection was accidentally severed because of construction behind the old building. The entire front office staff was new and had not opened a school year at their freshman school before, except for Barb. And everyone had to work remotely in other locations. Even with all the new staff not being able to work together, the last year in our old building went off without a hitch and Barb was a major component in making that happen. Barb, Barb, thanks for being an eternal team player and for making sure that all the needs of the building are met. Congratulations to you, Barb. presenters are from Fairfield High School, Principal Bill Rice, and Assistant Principals Kareem Sanders, Ryan Bellamy, and Dr. Rebecca Salyers. Is it Dr. Rice? Then I need to say Dr. Rice. Give it up for Dr. Rice. <laughs> Sorry about that. And the first winner from the high school is Harvey Stansel. As educators, we all speak about looking forward to retirement, but there are always those rare gems that, upon retirement, are drawn back into the building to continue to serve students. The Golden Apple winner, Mr. Stansel, is one of those rare finds who has chosen to further his impact on the Fairfield family and return to the building. He has served in this district as a classroom teacher, administrator, and most recently, an educational assistant. Mr. Stansel is truly the definition of a team player. He can be found running around the building to track students down about missing work, overseeing after school detentions, and Saturday school emailing parents about students, reaching out to colleagues to ensure all the needs of the students he encounters are met, or at an athletic and community event, supporting our students and staff members. Mr. Stansel is truly one of a kind, and we are honored he has chosen our students and staff to be the ones he cares wholeheartedly about and continues to want to support in their journey to success. Jackie Robinson once said, a life is not important except in the impact it has on others' lives. Harvey, you have had and continue to make an impact each and every day, and we are lucky to call you an Indian. Congratulations, Harvey. <laughs> The next winner from the high school is Mike Napier. <laughs> Fairfield High School is proud to recognize Mike Napier as one of this year's Golden Apple recipients. Mike, who has held several, several positions with the schools throughout the years, is retiring this year after serving on the security staff the last decade. Mike is known for many things in the building and often the butt of our jokes. But what stands out most is his unwavering <coughs> kindness for anyone in need. Mike has been known through the years to pay for hundreds of student lunches. 
provide support, snacks, supplies, and anything else that a student might need. I joke with him often that he spends more on the kids than he takes home. Mike is a constant positive face in the building and one that is always there to add his thoughts on the situation. We will miss him next year, but wish him all the best on the golf course. Congratulations, Mike. <laughs> the final winner from the high school is Susie Lindbergh. This Golden Apple honoree is one that has been in education longer than her administrative team members have been alive. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, there is not a doubt that she can run circles around each one of us in the classroom. She has never lost her passion nor enthusiasm for teaching over the past 45 years. Mm and as a result has impacted and changed the lives of so many students and staff members along the way. Her dedication has continued to be displayed over the past year as she learned a multitude of new technology to ensure that she is adapting to the circumstances and always doing what's best for the students. Mrs. Susie Lindbergh is an employee we admire, value, and appreciate, and one we will never be able to replace. There is a quote that states, to the world, you might just be one person, but to one person, you might just be the whole world. Susie, you truly have meant the world to us as an educator, mentor, and friend. Your dedication to the profession has not gone unnoticed, and we thank you for everything you've done, especially for our Fairfield family. We are truly blessed to call you an Indian. Congratulations, Susie. <laughs> and we would like to now welcome members of the district leadership team to come forward as we present the district golden apple award The first winner is Beth Rose. <laughs> Beth Rose is a stellar administrative assistant who works closely with the Human Resources Department and the Office of the Assistant Superintendent. Over the past four years, she has worked hard to upgrade all processes in these departments. She is known as the queen of the spreadsheet <laughs> and has made data storage and retrieval seamless. She is a team player who is always willing to train a new employee, accept additional work from another office, or plan a special event. Her positive attitude and fun-loving spirit add so much to the district office. She always finds time to help teachers individually as needed. Her wealth of knowledge attention to detail, and ability to anticipate department needs combined to make her one of the very best. She possesses a warm, friendly manner and a tireless work ethic. Every now and then, the stars align and you find a person who is the absolute perfect fit for a very important job. They have the right personality, the exact skill set, and an absolute love for what they do. Beth is that person. She is the elusive unicorn that everyone searches to find, and our district is blessed to have her. Congratulations, Beth. Thank <laughs> you. 
the district. She is always willing and able to jump in to help any staff member or student that is in need. This year especially, she proved to be invaluable to the special education and curriculum departments. She was the go-to liaison for both departments for the virtual learning program. She was instrumental in organizing and preparing devices for distribution during the shutdown and for distribution to the virtual learning students. Diane even attended an IEP meeting to help the team understand the technology that was available for a virtual learning student and continued to consult with both departments on special cases. She always goes above and beyond for our students without anyone even asking. It is hard to imagine what we would have done without Diane's patience and support this year as we navigated through the pandemic. Diane is an asset to the Fairfield City School District. Congratulations, Diane. presented by Superintendent Billy Smith, and the first recipient is Mandy Ogg. <laughs> Mandy currently serves as the Director of Curriculum and Instruction, but that title does not do justice to what Mandy has done for our school district in the last year. Since our school was shut down last March, Mandy and her department members have worked tirelessly to meet the needs of our students, families, and staff members. Mandy led the district in the area of teaching and learning during a pandemic, which meant that there were no blueprints to follow. Throughout the pandemic, Mandy embraced and encouraged a, we have to do what is best for our kids perspective. There were many tough decisions that had to be made very quickly and doing what is best for kids guided Mandy and others as we navigated into unchartered territory. Throughout the pandemic, the district expedited its technology plan to get devices into the hands of our kids. We put systems into place to allow teaching and learning to continue in spite of the fact that teachers and students were not in our buildings. We started a virtual learning program even though we had no experience in that type of learning program. We provided staff with professional development opportunities so that they knew how to best utilize all of the new technology, as well as teach in a hybrid model. We did all of these things under Mandy's leadership. We will forever be grateful for her leadership during these challenging times. Thank you for all you do, Mandy. Congratulations. And now our final recipient of the evening. She's last, but she certainly is not the least among us. Nina Rose. <laughs> Nina currently serves as a nurse at the Fairfield Senior High School. In that role, she takes care of almost 2,400 students and over 100 staff members. But over the years, she has impacted the lives of thousands of students and community members, 
because of her desire to serve. Nina has played a leadership role in so many wonderful programs that have benefited so many of our students and families. There are way too many service projects to mention, but I would like to at least mention a few. The annual toy drive, the back to school bash, table of plenty, and many, many food drives. When it comes to these types of events, Nina has taken a simple idea and made it into something really very special. I had no idea about hosting an event to provide students with some back to school supplies, some haircuts, etc. At some point, I asked Nina if she could help me. Nina took that original idea and turned the back to school bash into one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. We had backpacks, supplies, shoes, haircuts, access to medicine, face painting, a bouncy house, and pony rides. <laughs> yes, even pony rides. Did I mention feeding over uh, people over a thousand hot dogs? The back to school bash truly turned into a one of a kind event, all because of Nina's servant heart and her compassion to serve others. On behalf of our entire school district and community, I want to thank her for making a difference in the lives of literally thousands of people. Congratulations, Nina. Comments from board members? Mrs. Shorter? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> I just want to say thank you um, for basically being perfect examples of dedication and excellence for our students. Uh, for all of our win winners, we're so proud of you. You inspire us. Uh, keep going. I know it gets hard. I know this has been a challenging year with uh, COVID and with everything that's come with it. But you've been excellent, and I hope you enjoy your reward um, that you richly deserve. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for being role models for our, for our kids. Thank you for pouring into them. It's much appreciated. Congratulations. Mr. Begley? Yeah, I'm always so excited for the uh, Golden Apple Awards because it gives us a chance to recognize and thank Thank you for, for what you do and for who you are. And, and really, I think that's what this award is about. Um, it's not awarded because of what you did in third period math class on a Tuesday in November. It's, it's awarded for what you do, for who you are on a daily basis, interaction to interaction with student, peer, whatever it may be. You stand out, you're above and beyond, you're a unicorn, you're a prankster, we heard it all, right? Uh, but you being you is what makes a difference and truly what makes this a tremendous district. It's not new buildings, it's not one-to-one -one technology, or it's you and what you do uh, and that ripple effect. And, and I would challenge you to do just one more thing and that is to think about mentoring someone else to be next year or the year after that's Golden Apple recipient. Uh, you have that kind of impact just, just by leading every day, but now if you're intentional about it, how, how big can that ripple be, right? So again, thank you for what you do. Mrs. Shorter? I'm sorry, Mrs. Gunner. <laughs> Thank you. Um, congratulations to all of the recipients. Um, I was taking some little notes uh, about some uh, overarching themes as, as I was listening to the, the stories behind all of your uh, awards, and I wrote down above and beyond service, dedication, positivity, excellence, and uh, sort of as Mr. Begley said, I think, I imagine you all just get up in the morning and you just do you. 
but and that's who you are. You know, you get up and you, you try to be the best teacher, the best EA, the best police officer, the best nurse that you can be. And, um, and that's just, that's just the, the way you are and, and your positivity and your excellence just shines through. And I hope that in some small way, this, is, um, this shows you how thankful we are for how excellent you are and uh, gives you a chance to sort of pat yourself on the back for a change and say, hey, I, I did good. So thank you all very much. Mr. Clark? Yeah, um, I think you looked at my paper because I was writing down <laughs> some of the same words, but congratulations to all the uh, Golden Apple Award recipients. Definitely well, well deserved. Um, like it's already been mentioned, you, you do you, that is who you are, and it shows every single day of, of your life with these students, your peers, and their families. Um, you know, we heard some quotes and comments from some students and some families, and I absolutely assure you there are many, many more that go unsaid, but they are, they're, they're feeling it, and they, they wish they could tell you or want to tell you. I, I assure you that as a, as a parent of students in our great school district. Um, and, and just that all your peers, all the students, the families that you've impacted have benefited from your involvement in their life. Don't stop, and I concur. If you can mentor someone to pick up that baton and take it on the next year, even while you're there for another five, six, eight, ten years, whatever it is, lead them on to do the same thing. Kids need that, and from the school bus to the schools to the officer, it is so needed in today's world. So thank you, thank you, thank you as a parent for doing what you do. We really, really appreciate you all. I'm not sure there's much more I could add. That's some great words from uh, my colleagues. Uh, I will just say uh, thank you for, for being our all-stars, our, our most valuable people, MVPs. Um, thank you for having the impact on our students. This is probably my sec second most favorite night of uh, the school year, first being graduation, because it's about the, about the kids. But you've, you've outshined everything that you've done. Um, and so we're just so appreciative of you. And like it's been said, please you know, mentor the next person and the next person and the next person because we have a, a tremendous school district and we, we are tremendous because of people like you. So enjoy the rest of you, the rest of the school year, enjoy the rest of the evening, and enjoy your family. So thank you very, very much for coming out. Thank you. like to invite all of the winners to please come down front either on the stage or in front of the red tables and the board members um, to also join them for a group photo of all the winners thank you and then after the uh, photos you are more than welcome to leave you don't have to stay for the rest of the meeting although if you'd like to mrs lane's got a tremendous forecast coming up <laughs> 